The incineration stone is said to be around this area. Well, I don't really see any civilization here. Except for that house. Yeah, it's like a weird lone cabin in the woods. I'm sure no one's living in there. Is it even in that house? The incineration stone is located inside that house. Of course it is. Well, you don't give me that professor title for nothing. Or wait, they did. Hmm. But either way, come on, the three of us could take down whatever scrubs are living in that house. Yeah, you bring up a good point. Okay, come on guys, on three, we charge in there with an iron fist. One, two, three. Ah! I didn't think she'd jump that quick. Come on, we can't lose, Plexi. Yeah, you're right. Do we really need to keep that thing around? Of course, Scorch. Well, we're the guardians of it after all. I don't know, it just, it brings back bad memories for me. I feel like I'm always living in the past having to look at that thing. Hey, it's okay. You've got me after all. That's all over. It's been over for a while. True. But I'll never forget the endless hell that that place put me through. So what do you think we're gonna do tonight? I don't know. Hopefully we find out. Yeah, maybe we'll leave it up to fate. <laughs> Surrender over the incineration stone. What the hell? Holy crap, Squidge Bot. You zoomed right past me and you don't even got legs. Wait a minute, is that your brother or something? What's going on? Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? And what's that thing you have? Are you... Are you working for the government? Wait a minute. I recognize that that, that... 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 that replication of me. That's... That's... That's that body that evil Mr. Potato Man offered to give me. Yeah, you're right. It is that body. What do you two have it for? And why do you want the stone that leads to the Endless Inferno? You see, my name is Professor Colorby, and we need that stone, as we're under Potato Incorporated. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to hand that thing over. No, I'm not gonna hand it over for you. What do you need it for? Uh, why does that thing sound like me and act like I used to? I'm merely your failsafe, an entity designed to replace you in case the plan failed, to enslave you in a new physical form. Wait, you're saying that Evil Mr. Potato Man was going to enslave me? I knew I should have never trusted him. What do you want with the incineration stone? That information is classified. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know if this beast you have a can- I mean, Evil Mr. Potato Man. But we need that stone. So surrender it over peacefully. We're gonna have to fight this out. The night chews blood. Wait, Nightfall! <laughs> <laughs> Honey! <laughs> okay. Gonna have to get my hands to work. I can't find much, but I can do as much as I can. Uh. Scorch, let go of me. I'll be fine. I'll take down the computer face. Okay, please be careful. So, my inferior comes to fight me. Die! Oh, I'm a lot stronger than I thought! Oh, trust me. I was made to be better than you in every way, shape, and form. I am the true Scorch, after all. No, you're not! Uh. Merely a hunk of metal with my branding. Uh, you're more powerful than I thought. Ow! Come on. My electricity is not working. Ow! Yes. Ow! Ow! Who wakes for my electricity? Plexi! <laughs> You're plaguing me. You're plaguing me. You're like a demon plaguing me. I'm merely meant to replace you. Replace the legacy you were meant for, I never fulfilled. I wasn't meant for anything. I was meant to live. That's all it was! I'm merely a monster that you created. But that's not me anymore. I'm a good person. I know I am. 
We don't have this shit for it. You have exactly what's standing in front of you. No, 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 it's, it's bringing it. Uh, I don't want it to come back. It's reacting. Finally, the incineration stone. No, leave. Just leave me alone. I am the true Scorch. Inferiority complex. What are you talking about? I am the true scorch. Except I'm better. I don't fear being a dictator. I don't fear killing people. I fear nothing. That's not true. They're not scorch. They're exactly what was wrong with them. <laughs> Wait, what happened? He's getting stuck. I, I don't remember that happening last time. He was consumed. More like he was absorbed. But why? Maybe I'll never know why he... Went like that. Scorch! Are you alright? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. In fact, I might be better. Oh no! We lost Scorch Bot! Like, so you might have to retreat. But the, bo the boss is gonna be mad. That won't be necessary. Hmm? Hold on, I fall. Scorch, what are you doing? I hate this thing. I hate it with a passion. Because it shows me what was wrong with me. I lacked empathy. I don't even want to destroy it. I just want it gone. Huh? But why? Gorge, what if they're planning another apocalypse? What if they're gonna enslave us all? I don't care about that anymore. I don't care. I just don't want it around me anymore. Well, I don't think we're planning an apocalypse anyway. Yeah, if that makes you happy. We're not planning to destroy the world. Then why do you need it? To protect it. But evil Mr. Potato Man was made that robot to, to impersonate me. Why would he do that unless he planned to start another apocalypse? Well, I wasn't around when he made it, but I'm guessing it's because you were so perfect. Listen, I know it's not the right decision morally, but I need this from me. All I ask is just forget about me. Please. You got it. I'll tell the terms of the boss, I, I, I promise. I guess you do need some selfish decisions in life to truly be happy. You're more important to me than protecting that dumb rock anyway. Thanks, Nightfall. Why don't we get out of here? Yeah. Goodbye forever, Scorch. I don't really know who you are. 
but I hope you live the rest of your days out in happiness. Come on, Plexi. That's all I ask. Hmm, that's odd. Scorchbot got deactivated. Oh no, I hope they're all okay. Todd, I think we should go look for them. Oh, oh my god! What the hell was that? I need it! Where's it at? Tomato, what are you doing here? Abigail, in her bird form? This must be serious. Wait. Did you know about it? Should've known you all were up to this. Where's the fatal shard? Wait, wait, why do you need it? Do you need it for something evil too? I mean, I mean, uh... We need it so you won't be evil with it. Why is he urging it like he's got some sort of itch? Because I do! There it is! Uh -oh. <laughs> Black speck! <laughs> what the hell? Huh? Well, uh, Tomato attached himself to it, so, uh, if it ever got moved, then, uh, he'd get a really bad itch, and... Well... It moved, so, uh, <laughs> you guys bad. Damn it, this was a coup from the start! All right, you'll pay for this. Huh? He got a horse or something? Oh, it's bigger than a horse. Huh? Eat Potato Bot 2.0! I don't think she's formally been introduced to you all yet. Uh, well, she's, uh, certainly big. There's a lot of stuff on her. <laughs> Abigail, meet Robot. Robot, meet Abigail. I got it in my head! I got it in my head! Alright, stay behind me, Todd. Tomato, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But now I'm pissed off! Yeeks. Did I say, did I say yeeks? And the kid just made up a new onomatopoeia. Oh god! But that's busting open now, do we? Where's she going? Stop snuggling! You're making me dizzy! Ow! Oh, I'd appreciate a little bit of help! Sorry, sir! That was a piece of cake. Hmm? Uh, 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 I got her down! I got her down! I did it, boss! I got her down! Ow! I'm Victor! Uh, now I'm the Victor! Say your last prayers, Abigail! Uh, uh, Tricked ya! Grapestone. <laughs> Ow! I can't move! Nah, triumphs would probably fry me if I severely hurt you, so, uh, you're paralyzed now. That can be fixed, though. Thanks. Uh, <sighs> Crap, now it's two on one! They better get here soon! Wait, who's they? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm coming in on the... I thought this would be funny. You're really heavy. Yeah. Okay, you can go down now. <laughs> that hurt, but I'm okay. Sorry. It's probably my fault for making you do that anyway. Okay, so, a uh, fatal shard. Oh, man, you're actually using that thing now. Travis, stay out of my way this time, please. Why well, ask of you? <laughs> See down there? I could have killed your sister, blasted her to death, but I only paralyzed her with grape juice. You what? Uh, oh, yeah, that, that, that probably wasn't a good idea to tell you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot that even I'm not that powerful as a robot. Even in rage, ow. <sighs> Man, you're fast when you're worried. That's what I do. What's going on? Did they find it? I hear they did. We're a little more outnumbered than before. I told us might be a good time to retreat. Hey, boss! I got the, 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 the incineration crystal or whatever it's called. Did we come at a bad time? Honey, should we have not arrived? Uh, this is a bad idea. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to fight for the both of them. Fight for the both of what? Wait, what? Hang on, is that that crystal from the endless inferno thing that happened a while back while we were all gone in dead space? Wait, how the hell do you remember that? You weren't sending it until after the Infinity War. Shut up. Wait, so you're trying to like collect the crystals or something? Ah, what, you, you, what you, that's no business to you. Oh, oh, Todd, are you okay? That's being pulled. What's sore my hands? Ah! Oh! 
Oh, it's almost like they're attracted to each other. Well, then come on, let's grab them. What are you doing? Ow! Oh, 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 they're kind of like little floaty things. Click, 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 click. I probably shouldn't be playing these. All right, stand back, Luna. I got this. Hey, this is for the arm. Hey, wait, that was a kind gesture. Ow! Uh -huh. You get off of him. <laughs> wow, that turnip packs a punch. I guess that's why Popeye eats them. That was spinach. Oh. Wait, 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 those are different. Yeah! Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Well, this sucks. Okay, you get to be my metal shield. Thanks, I appreciate the kind gesture. Oh my god, this is so weird. Ah, my night bird armor. Come on. Wait, I got an idea. If we team up, we can give you wings. This is a great idea. Now draw me on them like a bomb. Boss, are you okay? Just defeat them for me. Okay. Be fine. Ugh. Please just be careful for me. Will. Come on. We got this. You're telling me. Whoa, you learned to fight that better. Ow! Whoa, you messed up my voice box. Okay, we're just getting warmed up. Clear. Ow! Travis. I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm trying to see if I can make this work. Okay. Let's see here. This goes. Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa! I can fly it. Whoa, that's incredible. I'm doing an old ratatouille to your tail. That's a little weird. Eh, it's a robot body. Who cares? <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Whoa. Not poop. <laughs> hey, you guys come down from there. You're, you're, I, I can't reach you. Bombs away. Uh, this is just like America in the 1940s. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy flipperoni! Ah. Uh, there they are! Uh, whoa, he's coming in hot! Uh, oh god! My now, Travis! Yikes! I didn't think about how I'm supposed to stop. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 you! Uh, uh, we got it! Guys, we won! Yes. Oh. The combination of my work! You're not going to take this from me. Omni Meteor will be mine. What the hell is the Omni Meteor? He said too much for whatever. Oh, mine, the mine, the precious stones are mine. What? 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 Get back here! No, they're not. Uh, yoink! Oh, wait. Got it. I got the stone. I only grabbed one. Honey, let's just call, cut our losses. We already got what we need. Oh, you're right. We can get the fatality shot later. Yeah. Oh, I barely squeezed two people in here. He had one job, Luna. Well, I got one of them. Plexi, Tom, get over here. Back, 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 back. That's insensitive. <laughs> Come on, Todd. Back, back. Wait, wait, wait. Where did he go? Look out the other. Todd, body, run. Hey. Hooligans will be back, but for now, this potato is out. No. Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... Great! <laughs> Sorry, Abigail. Oh god, this looks really awkward. It's okay, I can't feel it anyway. Well, we got one of them. <sighs> yeah, I guess we did really get what we came for, at least. But we didn't beat evil Mr. Potato Man! I mean, we kinda did, but we, like, half beat him. And no one likes a half-done steak. Actually, most people like a half-done steak. You get my point. You could've used, like, a chicken. That probably would've been a better example. Shut up! Okay. <sighs> At least my itch is gone. But Abigail's suit's broken. How are we gonna fix it? Well, I am still an engineer slash inventor, so I think I could work a way around to fix it. It's just kind of a surge. Here, it might actually not even take that long. <sighs> Hold on. Well, yep, just, uh, actually, he didn't even really surge you. He just got that grape juice on and it loosened up this wire. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I guess that's what happened when your, like, nervous system breaks down or something. But what was that all about? Why did he have the crystal from with Scorch? And what does it have to do with this one? Well, it links to it somehow. We witnessed that when, you know, they were dragging to each other with Plexi and Todd. Yeah, and he mentioned something called an Omni Meteor. Wait, the what? The Omni Meteor? Do, do you know what it is? Well, all I know really is that it's this big meteor that split up when the Big Bang happened, and all these indestructible crystals have spread across the. Well, the universe. I'm guessing whatever this blue crystal is and the... What was it called? The Incinerator Stone, I think they called it? Yeah, the Fatal Shard and... I guess it is called the Incinerator's Rock or whatever it's stone. Yeah. I guess they're a part of it. That's pretty crazy how two pieces of it ended up on the planet. Yeah, 
there be more here? No, I doubt it. So, why do you know about it, huh? Well, you don't really seem to be too inclined about many things here. Except for this Omni-Meteor. Uh, well, where I come from, it kinda is mentioned a couple times. Apparently one of the parts of it was like a bad thing for my people. I don't really know about all of it. Weird. Well, I shouldn't say my people. It was more like my ancestors. That's oddly vague. Okay, that doesn't matter, but still, I don't get it. It's just a bunch of powerful crystals. I mean, sure, that'll help him, like, maybe hurt some people, but they can be taken from him just as easily as they can be given to him. So why does he need them? Well, that's what I heard something called goggles is for. You mean Google? Google. <sighs> hey, Abigail, come look at this. Yeah? There's a whole Wikipedia article on the Omni Meteor. Wow, I imagine we'd have to find some sort of ancient book in a library to find that information. It'd get to be all dusty, and then we'd have lung problems. Imagine being that loser. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of reading. There it is, yeah. The incineration stone and the fatality shard. Both parts of the Omni Meteor. See if Mr. Potato Man was right, and apparently they're the only known parts on the planet. Does that mean more's here? Let me see. It says that apparently they tried finding other pieces, but there was no, not a big enough link. So I'm guessing that means there's nothing here. So then what does evil Mr. Potato Man plan to do? Oh, no. What is it? It says that apparently if you link them all together, you can get the powers of a god. A god? How do they know that? Apparently, on both the Fatality Shard and the Incineration Stone, there's atoms and elements on the entire thing that aren't even from this planet. Not a single piece matches it. So they're not natural, and their cells couldn't duplicate or be destroyed. I mean, matter can't be created or destroyed, but- You get my point, it couldn't decompose. So, I guess the assumption is that if you bring it all together, you can basically have access to literally every single possible thing in the universe, which I guess that would make you a god. Wait, so you Mr. Potato Man wants to become god? That's a big step up from exclusively trying to kill us. Okay, well, we have the Fatality Shard, and apparently we can use it to track and find other parts of it. So... It'll basically be a wild goose chase for every other part. And we have to find them all before Evil Mr. Potato Man does, or else... Bad. I mean, I don't think anyone here wants to become a god. So I guess our goal is to destroy it. How do we destroy it? Hmm. I guess we'll come to that path when we cross it. Either way... Guys, I think we're going to space. Wait a second. What? Isn't this just the Infinity Stones, but more? Shut up. So you're telling me Simon feared that what he was researching was too powerful for anyone involved. That's correct. He was scared that if even anyone found it and somehow pieced it together, that it could fall into the wrong hands. He was hoping that the evidence he destroyed would be gone, but they archived it. And once the research project was abandoned, it was all released to the public. He feared that the world would become a lot more structured. The little things that brought beauty, life, the start and the end would cease. And we would all be mindless husks, taking away our freedom. That's quite noble of him. I told him that our family was more important, but he didn't believe me. I mean, with all due respect, Miss Rivera, it's the universe or a pair of children. They mattered to me more than the universe. Okay, no need to get all defensive. Miss Rivera, this Omni Meteor thing intrigues me. And? I think I might be looking to piece it together myself. Huh? Why would you want to do that? I just explained how catastrophic Simon believed this to be. Because I could make the world perfect. Infinite resources. No one would have to fend for anything ever anymore consistent happiness for all. 
and it wouldn't be bad to be at the top either. Pyro? I don't think I'm on your side with this one. Oh, really? You have two options, Miss Rivera. What do you mean? Either you accept my terms and help me along my mission, or you get thrown into the deep vacuum of space, suffocating due to the loss of oxygen. You can't be serious. Oh, I am. And of course, if you do aid me, I could reserve a perfect little spot. Your family can go exactly to how you want it to. So, Miss Rivera, are you in or are you out? The choice is you.